still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran to the known man, I still go Go, go Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today is freaking dope. Got some parts in, and we're gonna be hooking up the 540, the B58. Like I said, we're gonna be doing some stuff to the back, so I got a little uh, spoiler, and I got the diffuser. So uh, today is just gonna be a little video about putting it in, installing it. Not necessarily a how-to, but just doing that. Then I'm gonna take you guys for a spin. I had someone comment the other day on uh, my last video about doing the update with my thoughts on the tune with the B58. So I figured uh, why not do that in this video. So uh, that was a fast intro for you guys. Hopefully that's a lot better than the last one we were talking a lot. Let's get into today's video. Yee! Ooh, sitting pretty. Oh, we're gonna probably touch up the wheels too. I'm gonna, I'll probably move it. So the car is still kind of cold and uh, it does pop once it uh, warms up. So anyways, let's get to this install and unboxing. So let me get a table out, get this unboxed. All right, let's see what we got here. That was a super bad cut. Well, here it is. This is the rear wing. And it's in piano black. Oh, I like that the location of it is perfect. It's not on the top. It's actually on this little ridge. Oh, that's gonna look sick. Heck yeah. All right. And now we're going for the unboxing of the diffuser. Gonna prep the surface, gonna hit it with some alcohol and uh, clean it. From there, I got my own roll of 3M. It comes with 3M, but this is trash. This is not gonna hold on. So, I got this thick boy stuff, and so I'm just gonna layer it through the bottom. Do this real quick, clean this off, put the 3M on, peel it, stick it. That simple. Now, basically, I'm done using all the 3m stuff then you peel a little bit back so that you can just lay it flat where you want it and then you just peel it back so essentially it just goes right where you want it right there is looking about right The back one, the front one, and lastly this one. The key is to not put too much pressure when you're filling it. And once it's done being filled, then you just yank it off. Then you just push it down firm. Since the area is already clean, and then 
And that way, you know, you, you positioned it right without it tacking and having to pull it back off. So that's the proper way of doing it, but that looks fire already. All right, and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna get my wife's reaction to it. Let's see. What do you think? You like it? It looks really nice. Yeah, I think it complements the car really well. Yeah, it like a grandma car. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. It just comes off just a little bit. Flows super nice, but then the top still looks normal. I like it. Okay, and for removing the diffuser, the, the OEM one, it's pretty simple. When you get to the bottom, it's literally just uh, four or six, eight mils. And then that's it, really. And then it's just a bunch of tabs that hold it on. It's really easy to remove this. All right, and with those all out, I want to say it literally just, just pops out like this. You don't want to mess the paint up or anything, but just... So it wants to fight you at the very end. Hold on, let me use two hands. Yeah, it was just fighting me. But uh, there you go, that's what it looks like when it's been removed. Now you can see the difference in the two, how much more aggressive that is versus uh, OEM. I mean, night and day difference. So, and this is like a grayish color versus it being all black. So here we go. Literally, it's just push it in and then uh, reattach those lower uh, eight mils and it's done, that simple. All right, so the object here is to just not bend any of the tabs, trying to push it in. kind of clip in eight you know, eight mils That's the finished product. I will pull the car forward so we can get a better view of it. What do you think it looks like, babe? Huh? What do you think about it? You like it? Heck yeah. Just need to... Yeah, wrap is next. But there you guys go. Oh yeah, it looks sick. Yeah, it looks sick. I just need to touch the wheels up real quick. Sheesh. Okay, now with the wheels touched up, she's just literally all murdered out. Look how wet that is. Super aggressive rear stance. And the front. She's wet. Let's go for a little drive now. So you can see I coated her lights since, uh, like I said, this is B's car now, my wife's. This is hers. So um, did the pink on the top, teal on the bottom. But um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's go for a little test drive, explain a couple things. Basically, like I just mentioned, I ended up giving this car to my wife. So the 540 is my wife's now. She daily drives it. It's downpipe tune with e85 but right now we've been just running it with just 91 the e85 tune was very fun uh and with a good set of tires i had put on it it definitely hooked up and you could definitely you know feel the difference and i definitely encourage people to to do it 
getting in the B58 platform is super sick. I love it. But like I said, just family situation, everything going on, it just made more sense for me to give my wife the car and for me to get a project like the 335 that I could have more fun in. We needed a good family car. And so this B58 has been extremely reliable. Uh, we've driven it out of town numerous times already now with the tune. We have no significant issues of any sort uh, at all. We just get in it and drive. She drives it in comfort. I hop in, I throw it in sport and it starts popping and I can race it if I want. But for the most part, we just cruise and it's comfortable. So, I mean, that's my honest opinion with the with the 540. It's really dope, but it's also why uh, content started limiting with it as well. Cause it was like, I'm not gonna keep putting a ton of performance money into it and try to make any racing content with the, the family car, if that makes sense. So, but yeah, here I'm just driving it right now, cruising through the neighborhood with the AC on, but I'll throw it in sport mode and give you guys a couple pulls. So we just put it in sport. And let's see, we can even do the whole, we can even do the whole my video. We can do a technology action, sports display. So we can do all that for the video. Roll window down, turn the AC off. So she's pretty quiet, but like when she wants to. She still scoots. <laughs> I love it. You can still hear the turbos really well. I'll let these cars pass. So I can really shift it. Alrighty. Woo. It's just like super chill. That's the best way I can explain it. Super chill. It's fun. It gets you where you need to go. Super clean car. Shifts are amazing on this ZF Trans. Smashing. Okay, I'll do the uh, anti-lag pull. So here we go. Right here, about 30 second gear. Let's see. Sheesh. Got the E90 all tucked away. I haven't decided I might end up just painting the front fenders black just for temporary use because I just do not feel like wrapping it right now. And I low key like the black. My boy Raul's IS is black and then the B58's black. So I like, I don't know, I kind of like the black. So I might end up doing that. But anyways, that's another look at it one more time. Everything stayed on. I might uh, do a badge delete, take off the 540 people don't know what it is and then um probably gotta get my wife a cool license plate and some wheel spacers i think we'll do some 20 mils in the rear and then maybe some 15 mils up in the front or even maybe just do a square 20 all the way around just because that fitment is just like <laughs> sunk <laughs> what wheels <laughs> yeah so probably be next possibly lowering it too but yeah overall it looks pretty wet, I'm not gonna lie. eBay and Amazon for the win when it comes to having a BMW. Literally, everything was so affordable. Like the front kidney grills, they were like 30, 40 bucks. The front lip was like 80 bucks, still intact. The little covers on the inside were $13. The mirror caps were like 30 bucks. 
the rear diffuser was literally like a hundred and forty dollars then that rear wing was like 70 bucks it's like it's crazy how affordable it is to like make your bmws look dope <laughs> anyways this was just a quick little video i told you i'm gonna be pumping more content out for you guys and uh this was this is literally a, a tuesday after work afternoon a little bit of sweat but um yeah stay tuned you guys gonna be doing a lot more content like i said stay tuned <laughs> i'll see you guys on the next one let's go Yee!